Hey everyone, how is it going? Uh, I'm excited to share this project that I'm working on for a client. Uh, it's for an online glasses store. So as you can see, they sell uh, prescription glasses and sunglasses. So the platform that I'm using is WooCommerce uh, for the online store, uh, which of course runs uh, within uh, WordPress. And this was uh, something that the client requested to use uh, because it just makes it easy to update frames on the back end and then pricing everything. So I'll just show you the customizations that I've done. Uh, I've uh, kind of customized it quite a bit and there's more to come. So to start off, uh, I have this model number here. Uh, this is usually just a custom field and then we display it here. Uh, and then uh, the other thing I have here is if I hover my mouse over a frame, as you can see that I get the quarter view, which is I think pretty neat. Uh, I can just do it on any frame. And uh, what the client ha all has to do is just uh, upload an image with the name of quarter and then that's how I pick it up. Uh, you don't get that with who comes out of the box, so uh, that's why we had to do this. And this was done using uh, JavaScript and uh, some PHP. Now going further, uh, what we have here is the heart icon, which is actually the favorite icon. So when I click on it, then this is going to become my favorite. Like so. So now uh, th these are my favorite and uh, of course going to remember if I like uh, refresh it, then it's still there because it's stored. Uh, so let's say now I go to this frame, now gym, I go inside and you can notice that I also have the heart icon here. Uh, which is telling me that this frame, uh, you know, uh, is my favorite. Now the other customizations uh, that you can see here uh, that has been heavily customized is the product detail. Uh, I have brought it up here uh, and then the description goes right under the tabs. Uh, because if you know from WooCommerce, uh, usually these things are here at the bottom. And the problem with that is um, you have to, like sometimes the if somebody's on the side, they might miss it because they might have to scroll down. So what the client wanted was to have them just right there, uh, you know, present. Uh, and then also uh, you might have noticed that the cart is missing and then the add to cart button is missing uh, because this might be coming in a second phase. So for now, the client did not want that. So that's why I have to remove that. And instead, uh, we have added the add, add to favorites button. So when I click on it, then as you can see, it's unfavorite now. Well, I click on it, it's favorite, unfavorite. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and then here, uh, it will of course also show the favorite uh, for the related products. And then I can hover my mouse over it and uh, you can see that, you know, uh, these will change the change to quarter view. Uh, and then if I can click here actually, and this will be my favorite again. So now if I go back, um, I'm gonna unfavorite this. So now if I go back, to my home screen, if it will load. There we go. So now this is unfavorite, and I think I made another one favorite. Uh, I think it's maybe on the next screen. There we go. So now this is my favorite, and I can unfavorite it. I can go back. I think that's uh, pretty cool so far. Uh, the other thing we will be adding is uh, here will be in a another heart icon that will show then the number of favorites currently the customer has just uh, you know give it a quick uh, indicator and then clicking on that will take us to a, another screen which will then uh, list all the models that have been uh, added to the customer's favorite list then i will have to add the ability to email that to the customer just so that they have an email copy and when they show up at the store so that they can you know purchase them uh, I guess easily uh, and also on the back end I uh, just have to add another feature on the admin side that whatever you make your uh, whatever frame you uh, actually add to your favorite list then it's gonna show on the back end to the admins uh, that way they can at the end of every month or every week see you know how many frames are uh, you know hot or not so then they can adjust the I guess the front page accordingly so I guess uh, if you want something similar for your store, uh, an online store, uh, just shoot me a line. I'll be more than happy to sit down with you and uh, you know kind of do a similar project. But uh, yeah, I'll be adding more updates to this and uh, I'll be posting videos. So stay tuned and uh, bye for now.